The farm families that own Cabot are happy to be stuck in Vermont. <laughs> Kids know me as, that. there's the shoe lady, mommy. Aren't you the shoe lady, you know? <laughs> Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name's Ava Solberger. We are here at John's Shoe Shop North in Richmond, Vermont, where after 22 years, owner Cindy Filoni is closing her doors. And it's by choice. And my parents had been in business for 51 years, and. They kept preaching to me to get out of the business when things were really good. And she's going out on a high note with lots of sales. Again, because of the sale, we're a little yeah. low on inventory. So let me take a look and see what we've got for sizes. All right, let me see what I can find. Well, I think shoes have become a very innate passion. Having grown up in a shoe store and a, a shoe family, it just becomes part of your blood and your being. As a third generation shoe expert, Cindy knows everything there is to know about shoes and feet. These are made by John Plesniarski. He is my grandfather. My grandfather was a shoemaker and my dad was a shoe repairman and my mom used to do a lot of leather work. My parents started their store in 1953. I actually shined shoes on the street when I was 10 years old. There was an art to shining shoes. I decided that it would probably be a good idea to have a store so that I could raise my kids in the store. It's been a, a really family-oriented business. There have been lots of children raised in this store. You don't just do something to make money at it. You do something that you're very passionate about and you have to love it and you have to believe in it. This is not easy to walk away from. This is really hard. Oh, because I love funky old boots. These are 40 <laughs> years old. Those are 40 they don't years make old? them like they do. Yeah, these are probably out of her parents' store. Yeah. They don't make that's them a, like these really anymore. Different. I was born with a crooked foot. If I hadn't had correct shoes and correct attention, I would not be as physically capable as I am now. Cindy knows a lot about the body, the feet, and how important um, proper fitting shoes are to the rest of your body. And that's what makes the store unique, that she has that knowledge. If your feet feel good, then you feel good. Solid base of operations. I don't want to mess my foot up because I know you can do some permanent damage. A steel toe is designed to withstand 500 pounds of pressure. It's 2,000 grams thinsulate and it's guaranteed waterproof. Feet are the bottom of the <laughs> food chain. <laughs> That's where you start. Everybody's feet are so unique orthopedically. They do different things and that's where we have tried to really pay attention to what people's feet are doing and matching the right shoe to the foot. Okay. But try it on, see if you like okay. the feeling of it. That you might true. put it on and say, oh, I don't yeah. like that. Oh. I'll never forget when I was, oh, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 years old and I was getting shoes for school and my mother was fitting me. She treated me like a customer in the sense that she sat down right in front of me on the fitting stool and I put my foot on the fitting stool and she tied it up and she felt it and she checked my toe and had me stand up and checked it again. The ball of your foot is hitting here, which is just about the right spot because you ideally want to be on the curve of the sole. I've tried really hard to lace as many shoes as I can for people because I think that's one of the treats of shoe shopping. What I do is I pull the tongue out now you just got to come with me to work every day. <laughs> yeah. Tie my shoes, yeah. And is shopping here different than shopping in other places? Yeah, you get service here. Cindy knows, when she gets to know you, she knows your size. It's like, oh yeah, yeah she's got this computer in her brain. Who needs a computer when you have a memory like hers? <laughs> and I've even grown over these years, so she even knows that. Their whole family has been coming here for many, many years. Her experience in terms of knowledge of shoes really helps us walk out the right pair. She should want to show me a whole bunch of these, this pair of boots. I've always been impressed that she's one of those people that knows what she's doing. How are you doing? Good, I think I'm gonna like these more than the other ones. I think the other ones would be too much heat on my Okay. Feet. She's good at it. I mean, she's been around this for a long time and you can tell. One of the special things about being in retail is you can touch a lot of people's lives and, and give back. Bye, Ed, thank you. See ya. And I'm really sorry she's closing. Yeah. <laughs> it's sad for the, her customers, but not for her. Now what are we going to do? Yeah. You don't I know. know. <laughs> a really good friend of mine said to me, you need to leave the party while you're still having a good time. And I was like, boy, I love that. I just have to really search my soul to see what I really want to do after this and, um, and take it from there. That'd be great. great. Thank you so much. The sale will be going on through August and it looks like I found my pair.
We'll get stuck around to again real soon. Mm -hmm. Starting from 1919 to now, that's about 93 years about yeah. of a John Shoe Shop being in existence. Yes. I was just not sure if yeah, I had that's that true. number right. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Because it's almost... It's like almost 100 20, years. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, Cindy, couldn't quite make it to 100 <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> you take 1,200 farm family owners plus every major award for taste, what do you get? Cabot Cheddar from Vermont, voted best cheddar on the planet, time and time again.